Hey everyone, I'm Marcos, and I'm Moxie Boosted, and I'm back for another episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2020 Ranked Battles. Now, before we get to that, uh, I just want to say I hope you guys enjoyed the video I uploaded yesterday. If you guys don't know what it was, it was a video where I was just compiling all of my <laughs> fun experiences using a very stupid team on the uh, Galar Newcomers Ladder, and that team did include an Acupressure Electric Seed Pin Urchin, so... Yeah, this is this is the fruits of my labors right here. I got I got 50 battle points, so that's cool. That's cool. Um, actually, here previous competition results. I did pretty bad. It it was very bad. <laughs> I wasn't trying, but that was the team I was using. Uh, and yeah, I I got 45,112th place. So that's that's really nice. All right, let's get into it though. So the team I'm using today is going to be a team that I built with my buddy Ioku on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, his link is going to be in the description, but this team is also available for rental. I'm just going to be using it uh, for the remainder of the week, I believe. And it is a Gigantamax Charizard team. Uh, and honestly, I thought Gigantamax Charizard was going to be poo-poo garbage, but it turns out it's actually pretty good. It won Dallas Regionals, uh, which was the largest regional of all time. And yep, there goes my rank. But also, I also fixed my internet connection, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, it seems like we won't have any connection issues from, na from now on. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this sample time, make sure you have a like and answer my comment question of the day, which is going to be, what do you think is probably like the most useless Gigantamax form? I want to know what you think is just garbage in every sense of the word. But here we go. Alright, so it looks like they are using a Charizard as well. That's a Haxorus. Uh, they also have Trick Room Mode with a uh, Jellicent, and, you know, the Whimsicott can also learn Trick Room, so that is something to look out for. Uh, I feel like against this team, I am pretty good leading off with... You know, my Charizard doesn't look half bad, to be honest. We can do Charizard and... Probably not Dracovish. Dracovish seems like a pretty bad play. Uh, we'll do Charizard Sableye. I can get a fake out off on the Whimsicott, preventing a Tailwind, possibly. Um, Dracovish is going to be nice for the end game. However, I have to be very careful about that Jellicent. Um, I definitely don't want to bring Ferrothorn. I think I'm just going to go full Rain Mode. Because at least uh, at least then I don't have to lock myself into Ficious Rend if I want to uh, beat something. I have to... You know, I have the option of going for, like, a Gigantamax or a Dynamax boosted... I can't even speak today. <laughs> I have the option of going for like a um, a Dynamax move like Max Overgrowth at my Ludicolo. And I can also set up my own Tailwind with my Helper and set up the rain to deal with that Torkoal a little bit better. All right. Grimmsnarl Charizard. So it looks like we're kind of mirroring <laughs> our leads here. Now, the thing is, um, I, I can't fake out his Charizard, right? I can't fake out his Charizard, and he's probably going to want to go for a, um, he's probably going to want to go for a Thunder Wave here, so I feel like my best play is going to be that G-Max Wildfire, most likely, which is stronger, Max Wildfire, base 130 and base 140. Ooh, Max Airstream's actually going to be better, but uh, we'll, we'll go Wildfire, because I'm... Jeez, this is actually a hard play. We'll go Hurricane. I wanted to go uh, Max Wildfire, because it would have been able to possibly pick up the KO in, like, the off chance that um, the Grim Snarl survives. Uh, but I'm, I'm just hoping that this uh, Max Airstream with the uh, Fake Out would be enough to KO the Grim Snarl. Uh, next turn, I'm definitely going to have to protect my Charizard, just go for a Max Guard, so I can... Hopefully avoid a Thunder Wave coming my way. And I feel like at that range, a Foul Play could possibly knock it out. Ooh, I hope that my in-game audio isn't too loud. I'm going to turn it down a bit. I'm turning down my in-game audio uh, in case it's like too loud for anyone to hear my voice. I'm always a little bit concerned about that because there, are, there aren't many ways to fix that in post since they're all recorded on the same track. Alright, so we're going to match... Ooh, we're both G-Max. We're both G-Max. Alright, so this is going to be interesting. Because neither of us are going to be solar power. My fake out's going to go off, preventing him from getting any screens off. And let's see if this max airstream does it. 
it looks like we are faster because we did win the speed or it's either a speed tie or we're just faster i know i'm timid max speed so that's good to know there's the g-max wildfire that's gonna hurt real real bad okay we live it but we're probably gonna die to the aftermath of it yep unfortunately stabilize gonna go down here and my phone just rang my phone just rang which is really not fun um, I feel like I can go Helper here, because I don't need to go for the... Oh, wait, no, I should have gone Ludicolo. I get an extra fake out. Yeah, that was a bad play. I could have gotten an extra fake out preventing, like, a Thunder Wave onto my, um, Charizard. Here I'm going to go for the Max Guard, and I'm also going to go for a, uh, just a straight Scald under the Grimmsnarl. I don't want him to go for Thunder Wave or anything. That would be the worst case scenario for me. And there's Trick. Ooh, he's a Jack Button. No. Oh, wait, no. He can't be a Jack Button. There's no way he's a Jack Button. What item are you? Because I hit him already. He can't be a Jack Button. There's my Focus Sash. He's going to be a bit faster now. But uh, we should KO him right here. And we are now speed tied with that Charizard. That sucks. However, um, I think Ludicolo should be able to knock out that Charizard this turn. All I have to do is double into it with Max Airstream and a Water-type move, uh, because Swift Swim plus our plus one speed will beat his plus one speed, and because we get the immediate speed boost, we are good to go. By the way, this, like I said, this is a uh, this is a rental team for anyone who wants to use it. So I'm going to Max Airstream into Charizard. Ooh, this actually might be... Uh, this is actually a really tricky play. He could get his Trick Room up right here and just Reverse Sweep me. That's what I'm scared of right now. So maybe I double into Jellicent. Call me crazy, but I'm going to double into Jellicent. I definitely do not want that Trick Room up. I definitely do not want that Trick Room up. Because if there's a Torkoal in the back, that's, that's the win for him. Ooh! Okay, well he got me there. He got me there. That was a very interesting play. I have no idea why you would double out. There's the max airstream into my Ludicolo. Oh, that actually makes sense. That actually makes sense. But we do actually know now that um, we were speed tied with that Charizard. They were both max speed. Or we were both timid max speed. Uh, I just ended up winning the first one. And this max overgrowth is going to do nothing. So it looks like we're going to lose this first game. Um, I don't really have much of a way of beating <laughs> of beating this Torkoal. However, the sun is up, so I could possibly get... Wait, hold on. Solar power. I don't think that's legal yet. Or at least it's not legal in the VGC format. Alright, I guess online, solar power Charizard... Or solar power Gigantamax Charizard is legal. However, in VGC, um, solar power Gigantamax Charizard is not yet. You have to be Blaze to use it. Alright, we're going to go for this Flamethrower. <laughs> Hopefully he's Hurricane and he just can't knock me out. No, he's Air Slash. Yeah, I'm running Hurricane for the extra power, and because I am on a on a rain team, uh, it does help me out quite a bit. But that is just going to be game. Oh, well. I had no idea that they allowed that on the ladder yet. Wow, it did nothing. But he is faster than me, so if he lands this next one, we lose. <laughs> yeah, there's no point. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna target the Torkoal so I can say I got two K uh, two KOs possibly. All right. Unfortunately, we do take a loss pretty early on in this session. Um. Let me think of what I could have done differently. Um, I feel like had I actually just doubled into that Charizard, I could have won. Because that was the original game plan, right? I, I didn't really want to worry about the um, the Jellicent too much. I, I thought it would just go for the Trick Room. Uh, let's continue battling, though. Uh, however, actually, it does make a lot of sense that they would switch out now. 
in retrospect, because what that did is it removed the sun and it made my Ludicolo slower. So it was actually a very, very good play. All right. So. I feel like it's 50-50 when I'm recording videos. Like, I'm either just really giddy and jumpy and I'll, like, talk about random stuff. Or I'll just be, like, really analytical. And I feel like the more analytical I am, like, the more I lose. Like, I should really just have fun with it. Like, like that, that past battle, I feel like I was a little boring. I was just like, yeah, so he's doing this and that. That makes sense. I was being very, like, educational. When, I'll be honest, I had a lot more fun recording that Draco, <laughs> the Draco Zoltz and Pukumuku video. <laughs> when I wasn't really caring too much. Uh, this is an Inteleon team now. Inteleon's been picking up in usage recently because it's a really good Haze user and a really fast Life Orb Pokemon. So, 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 so. We have to be very careful about that. Um, they don't have any weather, so I think against this team I can lead off Ludicolo and Pelipper pretty safely. Um, Whimsicott will get faked out and I can go for a Hurricane for the KO. And my Focus Sash will save me from any Thunderbolt coming out from either Duraludon or possibly the Dragapult. So I do like the Rain lead. Uh, in the back, in the back though, I, I'm i kind of feeling Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn looks like he actually tears this team apart uh, once the rain's up. And my last Pokemon is actually pretty iffy. I'm caught between Dracovish and Charizard. I want to go Charizard because uh, that, that Hurricane could help me out quite a bit. Um, but also, like if I have a Tailwind up, then my... And my uh, Dracovish actually does insane amounts of damage. Uh, but I feel like Charizard's nicer. Just for the uh, the extra Hurricane user and the Fire-type damage. Charizard's mostly on this team to deal with Ferrothorn, by the way. Uh, he's Charcoal, so that means that even in the rain, uh, a standard Ferrothorn will get one-shot by G-Max Wildfire. All right, there's the Inteleon. I actually like this lead. Um, I I feel like here I definitely need to target that Grimmsnarl. I don't want any screens up. I don't want anything uh, to mess me up in this game. Ooh, I'm tempted to Dynamax my Pelipper as bad of a play as that is. As bad of a play as that is, I'm tempted to Dynamax Pelipper for the immediate KO on the Grimmsnarl. But I think I just have to go for the Scald and hope for the best. Uh, I am timid max special attack, so that might pick up the KO. It's very, very iffy. But I'm, I'm not sure. I feel like Inteleon might get a flying type move, whether it be Aerial Ace or like Air Slash. So I'm kind of concerned about that. Now we're doing a decent amount with that fake out. I mean, you know, in terms of fake out damage. Let's see if the Skull can pick up the KO. Not quite. Can I get a burn? Nope. All right. Um, I'm definitely going to get Thunder Waved here, so I have to be careful. I'm going to switch in my Ferrothorn to take that Thunder Wave, and I'm going to attempt a KO on this on this uh, Grim Snarl because I can take a Thunderbolt for sure. Uh, if he goes for the Light Screen, though, if, it's, it's either Light Screen or Thunder Wave that he's going for. If he goes for the Thunder Wave, I'm in a really good spot. If he goes for the Light Screen, less so, you know? But yeah, or maybe it's even like a Salt Vest Snarl. I wouldn't blame him for going for Snarl here. However, I feel like, you know, Thunderbolt makes a lot more sense. All right, there it is. Fully expected. I guess I didn't say that out loud. Yeah, if he's going to Dynamax anything, it's Duraludon. Like that, that's what I meant to say. I meant to say it earlier. I just said like fully expected, but <laughs> I didn't explain it. All right. We're going to see a Max Lightning, probably. Ooh, okay, he's breaking my Sash. That was really smart. He can break the Sash. So let me think here. Um, I definitely don't want to send in my Charizard quite yet. Uh, uh, what did he have next to that thing originally. I'm going to send in Ludicolo because it's a free fake out. Um, I don't want him to get a light screen up. Light screen is like worst case scenario. 
All right. So we had that Inteleon out originally. Um, I don't think I'll lose my Ludicolo this turn. I think I can just go for the Gyro Ball for free. As well as a Fake Out. But I'm also tempted to Dynamax. I just really don't want Screens. Screens can mess me up. And it looks like Ferrothorn's going to be what saves us this game. There's the Max Wormwind. Yikes, maybe I should have Body Pressed. We do live, though, so we get an extra turn. I'm hoping this is enough. I know I know Grimmsnarl isn't the fastest Pokemon, but... Ah, he's Babiri Berry. Everything's going wrong today. <laughs> Everything's going wrong today. He's going to get his screens up. Uh, I should definitely body press here. It will pick up the KO. Um, I can attempt a Scald, but it looks like... Or Ice Beam's going to do more, but it looks like um, Charizard's going to be <laughs> coming in at the end to probably just go for that... Um, Go for that max airstream for damage. Max Wormwind. Rain should wear out in a, in about a turn though, so I think I'm not in the worst position. Definitely scared of that Inteleon though. Inteleon is really, really fast. And I can definitely get a KO on my Charizard if I don't Dynamax. Ooh, Darmanitan. So I think Rain is up for one more turn. Rain is up for one more turn. Um, pretty certain Gyro Ball doesn't KO anymore <laughs> uh, against that Darmanitan. I think I have to go for Body Press if I want to KO. And he's probably going to Rock Slide too, so uh, we'll go for a Protect here. Because if he, if he does go for the Flare Blitz, then at least Ferrothorn lives it now. Yeah, there's the rock sled. That makes sense. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need him to whiff that next turn if I want to win. Don't you dare flinch my Ferrothorn. Alright, there's the body press. Ah, not quite a KO. Rain's gone now. Alright, bud, I'm gonna need you to uh I'm gonna need you to take one of these. Or at least whiff. I, I definitely need that miss to win. I'm going to go for the max airstream. I need him to whiff for, him, for me to win. Or who knows? I might be able to pull it back with, like, leech seed. The leech seed stall could win me the game. Because Ferrothorn is berry. So I can definitely take, a like, a really strong hit. And then stall him out for the rest of the game. Ooh, we're just faster. He isn't Choice Scarf. All right, that's actually really good. Because now we threaten the Inteleon. This Thunderbolt's going to hurt, though. Okay, no Paralysis. Cool. Body Press is going to do a decent amount. He's probably Weakness Policy. Yep, that looks like Weakness Policy. Oh, okay, Critical Hit. I was going to say, he doesn't... <laughs> Alright, I don't know what item he is then. Probably Assault Vest, because he hasn't protected yet. I don't think it's possible for me to lose anymore. Um, I always go for a Body Press into this Inteleon here, and a G-Max Wildfire into you. Because Inteleon cannot beat me. All right, we're good. Also, apologies if my screen just stopped recording for a second because my computer just decided it wanted to turn off my screen. Hold up. Wow, what what just went on? All right, there we go. The screen froze for a minute. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Screen froze for a minute because uh, my computer decided to turn off the display. Alright, but it looks like we win. I'm going to protect here to scout for what move he has. Um, hopefully it's just like Ice Beam, because then we can definitely take one Ice Beam. Oh, it's Hydro Cannon. Okay. We can definitely take a Hydro Cannon. I I'm like fairly certain we take Hydro Cannon. Uh, but my best play is to double protect here, because if I do get the double protect, he just dies to flames, and it's just it's just safer. All right. He missed. <laughs> We're good. We managed to pull that one out of nowhere. We got... I wouldn't say we got lucky, but we definitely just pulled it back really... It, it was really, really clutch. All right, but I think I have to end the video there. I know it's a bit shorter, but I do have work today, and uh, I'm in a bit of a rush. So only two battles. Unfortunately, I didn't get to show off as much as I wanted uh, team-wise. There are definitely a couple more matchups that are really fun with this team. Trick Room is one of the coolest matchups because Sableye just carries the entire team with Quash. But the code for this team will be in the description and in the uh, comment section, most likely. Uh, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to do another one of these, but it'll be longer, I swear. Have a nice night. Bye.